Okay, so Kerr is ta taking a dookie right now. Um, I uninstalled it, reinstalled it. I even turned off my computer. That's how serious I was about this. So I'm probably going to be stopping using Kura because watch this craziness. So I know for sure these don't need supports. That's an issue. Uh, that shouldn't be happening. It should be a small cube. But for some reason, it's throwing these huge cubes out there. It's like, and when I send it to print, I'll show it to you in a second. Um, this was not getting supported, nor were these. These really don't need support, to be honest, in my opinion. But these were not getting supported, and they super need supports. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me just add my own support. Uh, yeah, my own supports. Boom. That's not normal. That's not cool. So, I said, okay, cool. Let me just set, press it and slice it and see what happens. As you can see, it doesn't support everywhere where it should be supporting, which is super annoying. So, I'm going to show you the presets that I'm using and I've tested so far for about four hours on Orca Slicer. I'm going to show you how to add a Neptune 3 Plus to your uh, device or a Neptune 3 uh, Max if you have one. So you're going to go to the top here printer, this little icon up here, right? Click it. Cool, it's going to drop down a whole bunch of stuff. You could write the name in there, but we're going to go super Barney style on this. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Da, 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 da. So you're going to think, oh, I have the Neptune 3 Plus. I should just add that. And the preset should be good. No, it's going to, be, it's going to take so long to print and it's so annoying so do not use these presets I don't know what's wrong with them one day they might be better it's because you have a Neptune 3 plus or pro or the max you want to use either as a base as a Neptune 3 pro or the Neptune 3 max because those have a um, leveling sensor in there that works fantastic okay so you're going to hit click confirm I use a four millimeter nozzle if you're going to use a six millimeter nozzle use that confirm boom send that boom uh poopies ah, i made a mistake okay maybe not so okay so you just added a neptune 4 don't get fooled by that name i changed the name uh to your inventory of printers so you have to change it because uh, the print size of a Neptune 4 Pro is 270 by 270 by 270. So if you didn't catch what I just pressed, I pressed this bad boy up here, that little gear. My bad, not that. This um, bad boy up here. This. Then you're going to go to printable area. Select this. You're going to type in uh, for the Neptune uh, three plus sorry you're going to hit 320 by 320 and then press OK then this is going to be uh, 270 you need to change this to 400 if you have putting in a Neptune 3 plus and for this one there's no like saving it you just press exit boom and then it's going to make a copy like the old Neptune 4 Pros down here. I'm using, I'm in this bad boy, right? Now the print speeds are going to be ridiculously fast because you dropped in a fast printer. So you're going to have to change them manually. It's a little bit more complex, but not as bad. So let me just show you. The first layer and the uh, first layer infill, leave it as is because it's about the same. Um, and the, for a fast printer, the first layer is always super slow because they want to make it as good as humanly possible. The ones that you want to change are the ones that has these little icons here. So let me scroll down to here. Start taking screen captures, right? But please listen. So you're going to change the outer wall to 30 because that's what Cura has. And I know Cura is a good setting. The inner wall to 45. The sparse infill, 
I couldn't figure out what was any infill, so I just put in 65. Then inferior solid infill to 65 too. The top surface, I went to 45 because of this speed. Um, now you just scroll down here. These are the next things that are going to change. Oh, that went crazy, sorry. Now travel speed, um, went to a thousand because I believe it was either um, print acceleration or travel acceleration. I was like, oh, you know what? That sounds reasonable for what I'm looking for, right? And then the outer walls, 700. Inner walls, 700 again. And then the next one I changed was the travel speed because the travel speed down here was 1000. That's all you have to change. And looking at this one is a 17 uh, one day and 17 hours, mainly because it didn't put any supports here, here, or here. Then you go back to the Orca, it did put those supports. So it added about three hours of support building time. And I feel comfortable saying that this will work, but if it doesn't, I'm sorry. But I've been printing uh, this for about three hours, maybe four, and it's not messing up and everything's sticking to the bed as it should. Um, thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Happy printing, everybody. Hopefully in um, almost two days, I'll have a happy printer. Thank you.